All right, what's up everybody? This is Rob Shack. So today we're gonna to be going along in my uh, Japanese compact cup using the Honda S500 in my Grand Turismo 4 walkthrough. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Help me get to a thousand subs. That'd be good. Um, I'm using the Honda S500 in a race where I'm grossly underpowered, so I will probably not talk a lot in this. It's going to be a very challenging race. It's been that way, and this race is going to be... Uh, it's just a very compact race on Autumn Ring Mini Reverse, so I have to kind of get used to this one. So thank you all so much for watching. I won't really talk. I'll try to win, and then I'll maybe talk during... I'll talk during the replay. I'll talk during the replay. So thank you all. You look great. Peace. Alrighty, there we go. So Honda S500, 1963, pulling a win against three Toyota Vitzes, a March and a Cube. 
So we did it, and everybody placed exactly what they did in the first race, which is good, um, I guess. It's not interesting, but then they all, they stayed close, so that makes me kind of think that it might be still a chance for there to be interesting things. Except for the cube, the cube did terrible. So, yeah, Honda S500, very loud car, very high-pitched car, very weird-sounding car. Um, I guess that's the exhaust that I got on it now. So there's three Vitzes, and then there's a March, and then the cube is also just really, really bad. It's pretty funny to watch this. So I'm, you can see that I just NOSed pretty much the entire race. I was just constantly pushing the NOS button. And on a course like this, it's a lot harder to benefit from NOS because you don't get a lot of straightaways to, you don't get like any straightaways really. Like the only straightaway you get is that one uh, at the starting line, but it's not a very long straightaway. And you come off of a um, pretty sharp turn, like a substantially sharp turn. So. You really don't get a lot of NOS chances here, so it's all about driving skill. So that's why this one was a lot harder than using doing Twin Ring Modigi from last week. Last week, So, yeah, it was pretty much a huge challenge because of the fact that my car does not excel on corners. Or, there's a, hold on, there's a motorcycle going by my house. I don't, my car does not excel in turns or in uh, top speed. It is... That's basically both of the two parts of how to win a race. So, yeah. Um, but what's interesting is that, yeah, most of the cars, actually every car except for the Cube, really did stay together in this race. So I find that to be very interesting. I don't know what happened to the Cube, but at one point the Cube went flying backwards. I was like, oh, I doubt he spun out because of the fact that he's going like no miles an hour constantly. So I'm like, I'm sure he doesn't have, he didn't have a problem, but... Um, yeah, then I go out there, push the Toyota or the Vitz RS Turbo wide a little bit, and then I felt a little bit bad, so I messed up the uh, Vitz just a little bit to kind of keep them where they were. Then that keeps the March close, but the, the March and the Vitz R1.5 are already really close to him, so it doesn't really. I think it's basically anybody's game if there's enough of a straightaway. There's enough of if there's enough of a straightaway, any of these cars could really pass each other. But I feel like that is not. A race that's not what you're ever going to see on um this course for example uh, there's me pushing the bits what is this the bits f wide and then he just kind of rejoins the circuit right into my face but i kind of deserved that but now they're all close again which is where it was right before i messed up the bits rs turbo so now we're back to the way it was before um it's just a good race and it's hilarious to use something like the honda s500 because the s500 is like when they said the Japanese Compact Cup car thing, I really doubt that they had the Vi the Honda S500 as the car that people were going to pick. But as I've said before, I'm trying to do a race with every car that I have in my garage. And I figured this would be the best one for sure for using this car. Because like I just don't see me using this car for like anything else at all. Um, but it's a good car, honestly. Like... It's underrated. Uh, it's got good grip. It stays on the ground for a while. It stays gr like grounded very well. Like I take it over the little curve thingies, and it just it plants. It's pretty great. So that could be every car in the game, though. And this could be the worst one. So we'll we'll have to find out later in the game. But Honda S five hundred beating some other cars. The Vitzes are actually close to each other. I honestly am surprised the RS Turbo didn't um, actually start ahead of the Vitz F. That kind of surprised me. I'm also surprised the Vitz RS 1.5 is in fit fourth. Because I think, I'm, if I had to assume, I would assume the Vitz F is the slowest of the three. But that's just me. So, yeah, there we go. Race is done. Good stuff. How many get to a thousand subs? Grand Final 4 walkthrough. We, we killed it. We doing it. It's going slow because I love the game and I want to take my sweet time. And it's just, yeah, it's just a lot of fun to play this game. So, hope you all enjoyed the video. We'll talk again next week. Peace.